like a rhinestone cowboy. Da, da. What's up, everybody? If you chose to watch this video, you're a very smart person because this is going to be the best tutorial you'll find on the Crystal Sage boss. I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks. First thing, if you want to beast mode it, get some gold pine resin or gold pine bundle. It'll give you lightning damage because he is very weak to it. You will rape him with it. And make sure you stay till the end because I'm going to be telling you guys about a spot right here in the game that's going to give you about 50,000 souls an hour. And if you're a mage, you're going to want to get the fair and dart that you see down there. That's a pretty awesome spell for the second phase of this fight. If not, you're going to want to get some throwing knives. You can even get some poison throwing knives and poison them and don't worry i'll explain later exactly what you're going to do with them the next thing is the boss only does magic damage so best thing to do is wear an outfit that is like got the most magic defense there and a good place you can get an outfit it's only like 10 seconds literally from the bonfire and it's the same bonfire you need to get to the boss ah crab they're four visions of a woman yes when i see crabs it reminds me of women i've gotten crabs from a girl <laughs> No, but anyways, you're just gonna run right inside here and watch out for that guy and looky looky what we got in the corner. A whole outfit. Give us some good magic defense. Don't be retarded though like me and forget to put the outfit on before you go in and fight the boss. I was just like not even paying attention. Came in here without it. But anyways, first thing you want to do is not stand behind this pillar. As soon as you run in, you want to rush him, roll out of the way of his things. And if you're a mage like me, look, it only did 64 damage. It's gonna be a little bit harder for you. If you're a melee fighter, then you can just run up and do some like serious combos, major damage, kill him a lot easier. But he's gonna spawn in a random point in the map somewhere over here. You don't have to worry about those little ice things that pop up. What you wanna do is get up as close as you can to him. Like keep pushing forward. All his spells will go right over your head normally. And you can just sit here and combo him. You kind of want to take a little break first and make sure your endurance is up and then just unload combos on him. But as you can see, I'm pretty weak, but I'm just going to town on this fool, unloading some weak combos on him. Whenever he gets down to about half health, then he's going to have the second phase start. You'll know when it comes whenever you hear the music. It'll play a different little song for you, and that means there's going to be a bunch of clones, little fake bosses like him that are spawning everywhere. Oh, here's the music. There it is. So this is what you're going to want your throwing knives for or that fair and dart. Um, the one you want to look out for is the one throwing purple magic. He's the real one. Purple, purple. If you get lucky like this and you're in the same spot as him, just go ahead and DPS him down real quick. Don't worry about the other ones. But normally this is not the case. Normally you're not in the same spot as him. And I'll show you what you're going to want to use your throwing knives for or your fair and dart. The fair and dart is very quick, fast magic spell. All you got to do is just one damage to him any of the clones and they will evaporate but right here i got lucky again and ran right up on them so i'm just going to try to dps them down again real quick hit them hit them see you guys will be able to get them down way faster than me and this part will be a lot oh i'm almost dead all right lucky dodge okay if you're a mage you're not going to want to be doing this there's a way smarter way to do it um what you want to do is get your fair and dart or if you're melee get your throwing knives and like i said earlier just one throw at them we'll take the other ones out we get rid of them eliminate them real quick this is a smart way to, to play. This is the way you sh should be doing it, unless you're right up on the boss. Get all the ones that got blue magic, get them down real quick. And then you have nothing to worry about. This boss is very lenient. You can make lots of mistakes. Like right here, I should probably heal up. But instead, I'm just gonna go for it. The craziest ending to a boss fight ever. Am I gonna make it all oh, super lucky? Don't go anywhere just yet. If you're at this part in the game, there's an awesome spot right here where you can farm souls. You can get like 50,000 hours. It's pretty amazing for this part of the game. Honestly, I can't believe I just killed him because I was wanting to record a bunch of different takes, you know, get some different angles, different views, and everything. But I ended up killing him without even trying hard. So as long as you use these tips, you should be golden. Now we can go in here to the fire link thing and get our awesome crystal sage rapier. Cannot wait to use this. It gives you 50 extra points for item discovery. That's going to be awesome. I also started a new Facebook group where you guys can talk to me and stuff and ask me questions. I'll be on there all day. So join that. I'll put the link right there in the description. It's going to be awesome. Hit the subscribe button if you want the best guides, best tutorials for Dark Souls 3 and all of YouTube. If you want to know where the souls farming spot is, just click right here. I love you guys. Remember, stay epic.